Uh, do you want to tell them where we are? We made it to Norway. We're in Oslo. Oslo. Is that how you say it? Is that the right accent? I have no idea. Norway, a land of great popularity right now. A place rich with Viking history, gorgeous fjords, mountains, waterfalls, pristine cities. I need I say more? Yeah. yeah. Our family heritage and history is from Norway, mm -hmm. so we went back for a few weeks to visit family and share this beautiful place with our children. We'll flash back to Mermaid Monster and where we left her. Enjoy this long show today. All right, so you might remember a while back, my heat exchanger started up with a pinhole leak that leaks through. So we ordered a new heat exchanger. Heat exchangers are kind of expensive, actually. We tried not to order it, but, well, we tried to order it, but we didn't really want to order it, right? But we did it anyways. Um, it's like five grand for this heat exchanger. It's kind of a lot. But you can see here, this is the, one of the old heat exchangers, you can see the water goes in. Let me see, we can see it here. Look at this, like corrosion or calcium, like, I don't know what it is, it's kind of build up there. You see in there? See, there's like another little leak coming through right there. But see, this, this is the old heat exchanger. You can see the corrosion starting on the outside, and these zincs are always perfect. But here's a brand new one. Looks amazing. Okay, so the one thing to note on it is you might think, well, just your boat's not zinced properly. That's why you're having this corrosion. Yeah, it is zinced properly. But, uh, and the zincs are replaced on a very regular basis. Um, these ones are checked once a month and replaced if, if there's like even 10% um, eaten away on them, they're definitely replaced. Here's the thing, what happen, What is important to understand is if you are in a marina, what are the other boats putting out? What kind of uh, power is going into the water that shouldn't be there? Um, and I don't know. I don't know if I sat next to someone too long or something like that that was putting out too much uh, electricity or what was going on, but, but now they're new. Even though we got them refurbished uh, just two years ago, um, that one still failed. So I don't know what, what was going on on the inside of it, but the failure that you would just hate to have happen and would be impossible to fix is if there's a failure with the coils, the coolant cab coils that run through the heat exchanger. If those leaked into the raw water, you're gonna lose all of your coolant, which would be horrible, and you'd lose the engine because it can't cool. So, it'd be really bad. Penn claims he's starving because he's eating a chomp for breakfast because I don't feed him apparently. We're, it's travel day. We're going to where? California. Listen to this. We go to California, huh. and then the next day we drive to Utah, and then the next day, well, no, not the next day. Next Monday? When do we go? It's like five days A few days more days, later. we go to Norway. Oh. And then you get back in the next day. And then day. I drive, <laughs> and then I drive from California to, I drive from California to Florida because we want to make sure that the captain gets back on the boat. This is my schedule. And then we go from Florida to where our boat's going to be for the summer. Virginia. For the summer. And, and for Florida, Virginia, as quick as you can. And then we come back to California for a few weeks for Rennie's Junior Guard. And then it's the end of summer. And then we're going to Maine. It seems like a lot. It is. It That's seems what we like do. A lot. Yeah. And I, I gave Britain one job, pack passports. He forgot. They're right there. Wait, you, you just said I forgot. They're right because here. Because I reminded you. And guess <laughs> the only skit that comes to mind is Nate Bargatze, where he's like, I am the dad. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google, I am the dad, Nate oh, yeah, They're right here. They're right here in a nice plastic bag so they don't get water, water, water damage. Oh wow, so thoughtful. <laughs> So it's, uh, you see that? All right, now it's 4.30 in the morning California time, but that translates 
to um, 7.30 in the morning. And there's a haul out scheduled today. And that haul is for 8.15. So the boat's moving in just a second here. And I got this little da uh, bow camera right there. But I'm just kind of gonna see how it goes and just kind of watch <laughs> and see what happens. I'm a little nervous um, to make sure it all happens. We have uh, uh, our trusty uh, shop that we use out there, um, Yacht Tech, which are moving it. And they have a, uh, so much experience moving these boats that there's probably nothing to worry about at all. Where you have to move the boat though, it's uh, seminal. And there is a current on the ICW right there. And so because there's a current moving you and you have to go into the slings, it's, it's tricky, it can be tricky. Um, there's not a ton of current at 8.15 this morning, luckily, but still it's always kind of a, you always worry. You always worry that things are done uh, properly whenever you're hauling and it probably, you, everyone has always said you need to be there always whenever your boat's getting work on you need to be there and we just can't there's just not um it just happened to be at this time that we really couldn't be on the boat and we needed to get some things done in california so uh and the boat does need to be hauled out there's a there's an extensive list of things that we're looking forward to getting done and that will make the boat a, uh to to cruise the boat another three four five thousand miles these things need to get done. See how it goes. Captain's name is Klaus. We didn't film like getting on, it was too chaotic. And we were running on the plane right before the doors were shut. So. Here we go. We'll see you in Norway. Are you excited? Kind of. Yeah, I'm, I am excited actually. Let's get there. Solid one. Let's get there first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to get the directions on my phone. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Where do you? Well, wait. <laughs> well, where did, where did, I didn't think we had a choice. I thought we were going to the same place. We arrived in Norway at Oslo International Airport on time and ready to explore. If there's one thing I loved or love about Norway is that it is so clean and pristine. Oh, and the architecture is incredible. All right. Uh, do you want to tell them where we are? We made it to Norway. We're in Oslo. Oslo. Nice. Is that the right accent? I have no idea. Well, we've had a lot of laughs already since we've been here. We arrived just a few hours ago, but we left yesterday, and somehow it's the next day and it's the night. No. Yeah. Time for yeah. bed. Yeah. Time for bed pretty soon. It was great. He was a champion. This little guy. The other kids were easy, of course. And now we're in Norway for two weeks. We didn't film any of the travel because as you can imagine, we have our hands full. And there's, it's all the same thing. Shuffling through security, sitting in a tiny seat. But the airport is really nice, huh? This airport's really great. It's like a very Every, nice Ikea. Have you noticed everyone looks like a model too? Like all the security police women are like beautiful. Like tall blonde models. It's crazy. Did huh. you notice that? Come on, you had to have noticed. I noticed all the women. Yeah, no, I didn't see. notice that. Right, right answer. <laughs> it's the right answer. Uh, so we're just getting settled in. We're gonna take you guys through Norway. This is the first time I've been here. Braden's family's from Norway. Ah! And we're here to meet some family members and and tour around through the country. And it will be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Anything else to add? No, nope, that's it.
Is that Penn's girlfriend right there? Yeah. What do you think? That's super cool. It's, fre it's freezing. My lens is all wet. Remember how we like we have this like cool stroller with a rain cover on it, and then you're like, oh, we don't need that. We don't need to bring that. It's raining. It would be nice to have it right now. Penn is very intrigued by naked people right now, so the statue is perfect for him. Naked babies everywhere. Ah. Pen, what's your favorite one? Penn's prized possession today. This is Leo. Where'd you get it? The sculpture thing. Uh, sculpture park? Yeah. What's going on today? Not a whole lot, huh? It's snowing? Yeah. Wait, is that? Brayden's over there. Wait, is that? Yeah, well, it's, it was. Now it's just raining. I think we need to go do something, though, huh? The mini bar? I think. That's what we do for now. Need some energy. So I'm um, low energy. So Brayden forgot to bring the insert to our new stroller, which is like padding to make it comfortable for the baby. So we improvised a little bit. We're walking past the souvenir shop and we saw a basket of reindeer clippings. <laughs> fur so we bought one and now he gets to ride in luxury see all the rain reindeer pelts see he's sad he's sad right now but he'll be happy pretty soon because he's gonna have rain rain reindeer fur on him nah nah don't try it you can't feed me lies won't buy it question everything told him nah don't try it yeah but you're moving like some sidekick but you're moving like some waste man trying to impress me won't like it be a song hey Ben what are we doing today? Can you give us a, this is day three or two? I don't even know. Two. What are we doing? We are going on a ferry. A ferry. Who are we with? Heidi's brother. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? Trying to impress me, won't like it. Be yourself, man, please don't try it. Really, why do they always? Yeah, you know I'm bad. Black, black chap, suit with a black tap cap. People love to try, people love to lie. People forget, stop, remember that. We done them good, do you remember that? We needed someone, here's the facts. But people love to try, people love to lie. Yeah, this is under my the gap. Living life just more to ask it. Smile at the horror movie, I'm laughing. Motivated, I'm focused. We're taking this boat to go see the fjords. So. This is downstairs, of course no one wants to be downstairs, but this thing is old. You can look at the, the, I mean, I don't think I've been on a boat this old. It's a tour boat now, but it seems crazy. There's a stroller right here. What did you find? Go down there, that's all old. Do you see it's ringing off the walls? Yeah. 
The Opera House of Oslo opened in April 2008 and was designed by the Norwegian architecture company Snur Hethop, whose offices we just passed. Nah, nah, don't try it. You can't feed me lies, won't buy it. Question everything, tell them, nah, don't try it. Yeah, but you're moving like some sidekick. But you're moving like some waste, man. Trying to impress me, won't like it. Be yourself, man, please don't try it. Really, why do they always? Nah, nah, don't try it. You can't feed me lies, won't buy it. Question everything, tell them, nah, don't try it. Yeah, but you're moving like some sidekick. Be you're moving like some waste, man. Trying to impress me, won't like it. Be yourself, man, please don't try it. Really, why do they always? Hey, what are those defense. guys doing over there, Ped? What? What are those people doing over there? Um, pretty much in underwear, going in saunas, and jumping in negative a million cold water. Negative a million. That's it. So this is the opera house, and oh. <laughs> I got him. This is the opera house, and as you can see, it's a slope right here. You can go up to the roof. It was built to look like a glacier. This architecture group did, what did they do? The 9-11 Memorial. Yeah, the 9-11 Memorial. What else? There's a bunch of really famous things on there. Yeah. I'll try to find them and put them right here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go up to the roof. Let's go. There's a drop right there. I should probably pay attention to where I'm walking. Today is the day for the train. We take a train, like four hours to, what town do we go to, correct? Another train. To a town next to the fjords, and then we take the, no, a bus. Train. Oh, train to a train. we take a train to a train, and, a train and then to a, a train to a boat, and then a boat to a bus, and then a boat to a bus, and, then and then a, a bus, bus to, train. to a train, and then a train to the hotel. Um, and we're gonna see the fjords that way, but um, it should be a really busy day. But I think there's a lot of scenery going on in the train. So we're looking forward to it. is the train playground. Check this out. See? This is dad's lunch because he's a rabbit. Carrot sticks. 
<laughs> what is that? I don't even know my jacket. Well, was loving it. No. So what are we taking a picture of? This. Yeah. Is that a thing? What's going on? What's that? This boat is an electric boat and it was plugged in. Those giant plugs. Look at this. the vibration in as much. It's like a Tesla <laughs> boat. Boat Tesla. Yeah. Wow. Under the ranges. So Bruni found these little spoons that attach to the baby food. Leo, look, it squirts out. It's kind of disgusting, but he loves it. It looks like poop. It looks like poop. <laughs> He's eating poop. <laughs> He loves it. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> cut, cut! Well, these are salty windows. I apologize in advance. 
Wow, we have a long time. Welcome to Bergen. Welcome to Bergen. Coming in at the second largest city in Norway, and at one time the capital city, it may have been one of our favorite stops on the trip. A rich city with Viking and maritime history that still exudes that vibe today. One thing to note about Norway, we felt extremely safe in every place we visited. I could go on about the safety of traveling to all the various corners of the world, but Norway's up there on the top of the list for cleanliness and safety for a European country. Plug this in my phone charger over there. Okay. You can unplug stuff. Filming our room. What do you think of it? That's cool, look at the double doors. It's yeah, let me show the bathroom doors. Look at how thick it is. It's two doors. And then look at the padded. Yeah, if I don't know if this will focus, but yeah, that's maybe an original door. Oh, no, I think it's made like that so it's soundproof. It's insanity. And then here's the bathroom. Whoop. And then coming over. So we have this door. And then this padded door behind it. Mind you, this is a suite, so I don't. Not every room is like this. But we have a big family. We can thank your dad. It's a nice room. <laughs> yeah, he bumped us up so we could all fit. Okay, good job. So we're in Bergen. We got in really late last night. We're just down by the water, and they recommended that we go up to this troll park for kids. So we're gonna walk, it's like a 45 minute walk. We'll see how it is, but it sounds like a fun thing for the kids to do. So let's go. Popcorn. Not anymore. You like sushi, then. Mm -hmm. good. I'm with my friends. Hey, Brayden. Will you? It was so cool. Do you like my joke? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not gonna film that. <laughs> Okay, just show the ice cream and let people put it together. No, 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 no. Will you? That's caviar. My shrimpy friends. Stop it. Stop it. And the babies. That's caviar. And the babies. What? I don't know where we're going. Wait, mommy. We're going to the toe park. Yeah, I know, but where, how far is it? Is it like all the way up there? Um, I don't know. What did you decide to do? What? What'd you do? Take off my jacket? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> um, we're going this park but I'm trying to understand where they go so they're going on a vinicular sounds like kind of like a weird word to me um but where do they go they I don't go know the vinicular starts it starts in here all these people waiting right here and Brooks decided there's a perfectly good vinicular and she decided to do the, the, the ramp well because he's sleeping I don't want him to wake up and I yeah would but like you can roll him in the vinicular we sat all day yesterday and I'm cra going crazy. I'd rather do a walk. And the lady told me it was an easy walk. This doesn't seem easy though. <laughs> Maybe she's a uh, triathlon and you just didn't know. Yeah, seriously. Ugh. So when you do hikes, do you ever you kind of have to judge everyone else coming down the hike or up the hike with you and you kind of think like, oh, I can do it just based on the appearance of all the people around you. Do you do that? No comment. <laughs> if they can do it, I can do it. Um, yeah. That's normally how it works. Yeah.
Ken, where are you? Ken, come out! Wait, I can't get out! There's only one way! I can't get out, there's only one way! The only way out, isn't it, Ken? No, pull them back! No! You need caffeine? No, I'm fine. Look at that. See the view out there. There we go. That little man. Look at him sucking everything. Hi, Neil. Hi, Neil. So at the bottom of the uh, vernacular there's a, a cave that you come into to start it. It's kind of cool, huh? Because there's just a bunch of houses all around here. They must have yeah. dug into the mountain to make this station. We're in a cave. The beam is slanted. This is sinking into the ground. But they're reconstructing it, huh? Yeah, over there you can see. It's neat. I just looked really fast and I didn't know. Why are you filming me? Tell us where we are. Where are we? Bergen? There's a bathroom. We're walk trying to find a bathroom, a water closet, a toilet for Rooney. Good morning, everyone. Today we're leaving Bergen and we're heading to Voss, I believe. And there's a Viking village just outside of Voss that we're going to go check out. We picked up our rental car. It's perfect. It, we had to change it to gas because we're using this car to drive all the way to Oslo and we don't know how the charging is throughout Norway. I guess 90% of the country is EV, so it's, it's tricky or it's headed to be that way. I'm not sure if it already is. Leo's sleeping. We gotta go pick up the other kids at the hotel over and pack up our bags and then head out for a beautiful scenic drive across this country. So here we go. I guess it always will be. So we cannot check into the hotel room until like three o'clock. So we're going to this Viking Valley uh, village for the kids. And I think it's one of those recreation type of villages. Hopefully it's as fun as the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> because that's pretty epic. But we're driving through a mountain right now. And then, uh, yeah. This like, day of travel, what, go ahead. Like all the way through the mountain. Like not like a little hill. Like through. I think we're going through like a large mountain. A large mountain. That's how the Vikings did it. They just push their way through things. They're like, we won't go over it. We'll just go right through it. I mean, we've been in this tunnel for a, almost a minute and a half, and we're still going through it. So here we have Twin Falls. Here we have Twin Falls. Try to make a man for all those 
Thank you, guy. Here. Yeah, good. All right, good job, Pat. Oh, you try for the harder thing. Yes, ours will be. Take it out. Yeah! The next few days we spent exploring Lillehammer, the Olympic Village, Arlen, and Voss on our drive back to Oslo, where we would stop to visit and see where Braden's family is from, a small town outside Oslo called Kongsberg. Good morning, it is like, we've been here a week in Norway and we're just checking out. We've came to Lillehammer. There hasn't been much to video or show you guys in this spot. More, we've just kind of been relaxing, taking little hikes, walking the main street. But this is the hometown of the 94 Lillehammer Norway Olympics. And uh, it's pretty cool to see it. it. Like I said, it's just been more like a low key few days. But now we're packing up and we're headed to Kongsberg where we're gonna see where Braden's family came, where Braden's family comes from, I should say. So here, uh, join us for the three-hour drive, and then the beautiful town of Kongsberg. I hate that stuff. They just think it's Do you like our room here? Hey, welcome aboard. Welcome. <laughs> no, it fits great. I mean, it's actually. We still have to put a baby crib in here somewhere. So we'll see how that works. Can't be tighter than last time. Yeah, that's true. We're gonna go walk around. Ah! Ah! Baby attack! Oh, no, Papa. No, no, Papa. This is the church that my grandma was baptized in, christened, whatever we call it. That's it. This is it. And then in the thing, like, there's these old, like this person. It's a 1800s headstone, and there's some that are way sooner than that. It's crazy. That's one's 1782. This is an old church. What do you think about being in a bell tower? <laughs> you don't know what to think about it? Mm. It's pretty cool, huh? But it's kind of scary because what if you thought, what if this bell drops on me? Squish, I'm dead. Yeah, but it won't drop on you because the Norwegians are really good at building things. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, but if it, they could get up here. They don't know yeah, yeah, how this yeah. got here. Yeah. Two and a half tons? Yeah. Wow. Lots of bells. 26. 26. 26. You go all down 34 and you from uh, 2011. Wow. So this bill's in 17 You turned it off just now? Is that what you did? Uh, uh, you yeah, turned it back yeah, on. on. On so it's loud up here, huh? No, it doesn't it's not too, doesn't shake your head it's like that. The movies. <laughs>
So today has been pretty chill for the most part. We just uh, went to dinner and met with kind of another relative on Brayden's side of the family. So today we've just strolled Concord. They, you obviously saw, they gave us a tour of the bell towers, which was so cool. And we are just walking the river and we're gonna call it an early night tonight. So tomorrow we can have a, a tour of the silver museum here in Kongsberg because that's what they're known for is silver mining. And then we're heading into Oslo and we're there for three more nights. And then we go back to California. We're home for four days. And then we go back to the boat and then we move the boat uh, north. Yeah. And you will die when you see the boat and what we've done to it. It is pretty. Oh. We're going the opposite way, huh? Mom, let's go up by a spot. Yeah, let's do it. Cause we'll go. across the Pacific Ocean from Peru to Polynesia in 1947. So we went like It says it was shown that people from early South America civilization could have reached Polynesia with seafaring vessels. It was 8,000 kilometers. It, it lasted 101 days and took place in the Southeast trade winds with the aid of wind and ocean. So it started here, okay? And he went and he just floated. He floated from South and America, the, from Lima, down to Tahiti. The, so he just floated. He didn't even steer or anything. He just floated. Come here. So, Penn, this, this is a piece of balsa wood. Pick it up. See how heavy it is. That's balsa wood. It's light, I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to see what the raft is? Do you think it floats well? Really yeah. well. Probably. Why? Because it's like styrofoam. The styrofoam floats well. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's very heavy? <laughs> yeah, no, it's so this heavy. Was, it's if so this was real, like not this type of wood, I'd be like, that is real. That is real wood. That's real wood. No, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying if it was like a, like a normal type of wood, like oak or something. No, it's I don't know. So I, I watched the movie, but I forgot. Uh, because of the statues. So statues were similar. The, the so statues heavy. in Tahiti? Were similar to that of South American so statues. So but that's why he thought. originally thought, thought that they so migrated heavy. from the west, not the east. So okay, so they might, okay. <laughs> so who knows? They were baked brown and they had long blonde beards and hair. They were naked and they turned out to be very kind. Pretty soon they began to feed me crackers. I'm staying right here, I said to myself, no matter where they go. So Wait, they were tan with blonde hair. These were the people of Tahiti? The sun. Yeah. It's funny. This is the Kantiki Museum here. So behind me and all in this museum are a bunch of different um, balsa wood rafts that they use to explore but mostly exploring from Peru like Lima Peru they would take them in the ocean and it would just end up to go like to the Tahiti Islands right there what a risk to just get on a boat and let it drift and see where you end up and luckily they figured it out and they ended up and they all did it based on a hunch that some of the statues in Peru were similar design to the statues in Tahiti so he the, he figured and he read one account. From that one account and that theory, he just got on a boat, built it, and went for it with like uh, six guys. Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you go first because I don't want to bang his head. <laughs> What's in here, Ben? 
like it. It's a cannibal cave. This is when they eat people. This is a secret hidden Mom, treasure cave. Yeah. It's just air pen. I'm not gonna hurt you. Keep that in mind. Some We go home tomorrow. I, Braden said he filmed in this hotel room, but he didn't because I was just going through footage. So I wanted to share with you guys this beautiful view in Oslo that we have looking over the National Theater. It's been a great trip, an amazing trip. Um, kind of PC filming because some days there really hasn't been anything to film and some days there have. So uh, I'll do my best to kind of put it in order and give you an idea of what we experienced here while we were in Norway. But overall, I hope you enjoy this video please consider subscribing or liking and follow along on our mostly, mostly 99.9% .9 boat channel, but enjoy. The shadow from a window.